Hey guys, and welcome back to Lost Bits, the series where we explore video game content that goes unused, altered, and unseen. The Friday Night Funkin' train is still rolling and showing no sign of stopping anytime soon. You guys even busted Newgrounds for a while when Week 7 was first launched. Now, I've already covered a bunch of unused content leading up to Week 7, so if you haven't watched that video yet, be sure to do so, I'll be referencing it a lot here. And this video won't be just about Week 7 too, as I'll also be going over some stuff I did miss in that first video. You guys have been going absolutely funkin' nuts with the likes on these videos, so if you're enjoying the content, keep on letting the YouTube algorithm know and subscribe to find your way back for more Lost Bits videos. Anyways, enough talk, it's time to find some more funkin' Lost Bits. Alright, first up, let's follow up on some things I mentioned in my previous videos. First is about this early version of the boyfriend's head graphic used for the bar at the bottom. I mentioned that it goes unused, but as many of you had pointed out, there's actually a not-so-secret way to re-enable it in the game. Simply by pressing 9 on the keyboard during a song, the graphic will toggle between the normal version as well as the early version. Pretty neat that this is still left in. Secondly, in my Friday Night Funkin' Found Bits video, I mentioned a hidden secret that can be accessed by pressing the 5 or 8 key on the game's title screen. By doing so, an image of Tank Man, as well as a segment of his arm, yes, that is his arm, you sickos, will pop up. Now, back then, I thought this was just a still image, but as a bunch of you had let me know, it turns out that if you press the space bar for a bit, an animation for Tank Man will start to play. It's obviously incomplete, as not all parts of him are rigged to move, resulting in a pretty scuffed animation. Based on Tank Man pointing in the middle of the animation, this might be an early version of the animation for Tank Man used before the song Guns in Week 7. Apparently, this whole animation test that's found here is some sort of remnant of a much more robust animation debug mode. It unfortunately isn't available in any of the public releases of the game, at least not yet, and is only found via certain mods or debug source code builds of the game. If you do happen to get a build of the game that has this mode, just like with the Week 7 Tank Man menu secret, by pressing the 8 key during a song battle, the animation test will load for the character you are battling against. In this mode, you can cycle through animations, as well as move around and zoom in and out from the graphics. Aside from obviously being used to test the animations, it's also thought that this was used for sprite positioning. It's a cool little debug mode, so I'm hoping it gets added in future updates or in the full Kickstarter release. Either way, no idea why the small Tank Man one was left over in Week 7, but hey, I'm not complaining, this is a pretty cool secret, and maybe it's foreshadowing of more to come. Next, one of the big additions to come along with Tank Man in Week 7 are numerous death quotes from Tank Man voiced by Johnny Utah after you lose a song, many of them pretty crude. The only thing you're funkin' tonight is your sock. Well, one of the artists for Friday Night Funkin', Phantom Arcade 3K, later went on to tweet about and publish an outtake reel on Newgrounds, which features several additional Tank Man voice lines that didn't make it into the current release. Now, me just reading these quotes off myself wouldn't do them justice, so here's the full cut of the unused voice lines. If you're not interested in them, skip forward to this time in the video, and of course, viewer discretion is advised. I should just squeeze your nuts off, but let's rock! <laughs> I should just blow your nuts off, but it's been a boring day, so let's see what you got! Pretty tight bars for a little dude who's simping over a butterface. Yeah, I said it. You keep beeping and booping me, and I'm gonna beep beep a garbage truck into your girlfriend's face! Make her more attractive. <laughs> I'm gonna make her prettier that way. Ugh. Keep riling me up, and I might piss in your mouth! Mmm. Keep riling me up and I'm gonna make donuts out of both of you. Yeah, use your imaginations. I hope you're not some internet streamer screaming like a sociopath right now. Oh, you want something easier? Okay, why don't you just go, why don't you just do it? go take a nap in your crib? <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I'm mad too, I lied. Yeah, get get used to losing. Fuck. Ah, goddammit. Well, maybe when we blast our girl into applesauce, you can do that emo thing, you know? <laughs> I love sad songs. Men, get ready to fire. Give up, like everything else in your life. I didn't know you could reenact an abortion with your keyboard. <laughs> hey, tough guy. Nice pubes. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. 
I'm out of here. I'm done. People are drawing me making out with Steve. You're goddamn right I'm angry. God, I really hope that last one isn't true, but knowing the internet, I'm sure it is. Also, just want to say I'm going to miss these cool behind-the-scenes tweets from the developers. It seems most, if not all, of the dev team have deactivated their Twitter accounts, and good for them, Twitter is an absolute hellhole these days. Anyways, onwards we go to some unused graphics. Many of you really enjoyed the ones in the last video, so happy to say we got a bunch more to talk about here. First off, in my first video, I mentioned the unused death sprites for the henchmen in the background of week 4. Since then, a lot of you have been telling me that this death animation has been added in week 7, but I haven't actually been able to see it myself or in a bunch of other gameplay videos on YouTube. Now, despite Phantom Arcade saying these would be added in for week 7, I don't see this to be the case. I don't know if there's an extremely low chance of it happening or something, but yeah, I just haven't ever seen it in actual gameplay. Anyways, in that same tweet though, Phantom Arcade revealed how the henchmen are going to meet their fates by getting diced up by a lamp post. And since I don't think the sequence is added in yet, these associated graphics for it are still currently unused. But since the current Week 7 update is still Newgrounds exclusive, some fans are theorizing that this, amongst some other additions, will be added to the game when it gets its itch.io release. And yes, the itch.io release should be coming, and Week 7 won't always be a Newgrounds exclusive. I truly cannot believe how many people in the comments don't know what a timed exclusive means. Anyways, next up there's this unused logo for the game, which appears to be an in-between point between the prototype one, as well as the one used in the full release. Then next is this image of what looks to be a 3D render of the boyfriend. This file is titled Week 54 Prototype, obviously toying with the idea that the game will transform into a 3D style by that point. Seeing as how the maximum number of weeks with all of the Kickstarter goals being met is 45, looks like we probably won't ever be reaching Week 54 anyway. Kind of a cool model, but whenever I see this, I just can't not think about some of those awful Among Us renders. And speaking of the Kickstarter, go check it out if you haven't already. I think there's going to be like two days left on it when I'm uploading this video. And thanks to all your support, I was even able to briefly make it into their Kickstarter video. If any of the dev team is watching this video, thank you. Y'all are awesome. Anyways, moving on, next are several sprites making up unused animations of the girlfriend in her Week 5 Christmas attire. These are all animations seen exclusively in other weeks, like her pointing in certain directions in the tutorial or getting scared in Week 2. In each case here, the speakers all have the Christmas lights, but interestingly, in some of these, the girlfriend's hands and leg graphics weren't updated to the Christmas version with the gloves and socks. A similar thing can also be seen with some unused animations for the boyfriend in his Christmas Week 5 getup. These are basically the Christmas version of a bunch of the scrapped animations I mentioned in my first video dealing with the scrapped combat mechanic like him getting hit, preparing to attack, and dodging an incoming attack. Like with the girlfriend, oddly, only parts of him have the Christmas variant here. Like here, he only has the shoes, and then with these two, only his right arm has the red jacket. Kinda weird that these sprites are like a Frankenstein with the different body parts, but I guess since the combat mechanic was scrapped, the developers probably didn't feel the need to finish these up. At least not yet. Also, still with the Week 5 Christmas theme are unused graphics for the girlfriend's parents for each of the directions. These are almost the same as the ones that are used, except these ones all have their mouths closed, whereas in the game, at least one of the two will always open their mouth when hitting the notes. And also speaking of Daddy Dearest, there's an unused graphic of him seemingly kicking something. Perhaps this might have been some sort of attack move with the whole once planned combat mechanic, but currently its purpose is unknown. Moving on to some week 6 stuff, there are two unused graphics. First is this unused frame from the girlfriend's idol animation, and then, although not found in the game itself, the creator of the pixel art for this weekend shared the files of their art, and amongst them, are graphics for this animation of the boyfriend giving his signature peace sign. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it earlier, but there's also normally unused graphics of the boyfriend doing the peace sign in his winter getup too. Anyways, it's currently unclear why either of these week 6 graphics were cut from the game. So in my first Lost Bits video, we saw an unused file in the game being a screenshot of a 4chan post. And well, since then, another one has been found. Simply titled, Open Sauce Forever, this one here features a thread in which Anon here is basically ranting about how much potential money the developers were losing out on by keeping the game open source. 
Well, uh, I guess they aren't losing on any now, and based on the file name, it looks like its open source nature is here to stay. Now, some of my favorite unused content I already covered for this game were the unused concept sketches and doodles, and thankfully there's a few more of them to show here. We got this one called Simply Pizza Doodles, and here we see the boyfriend opening a door, as well as him opening a wallet with no money, and an ominous looking mother in the background. Based on the file name here, my interpretation of this scene is that the boyfriend orders pizza, opens the door to have it delivered, then realizes he's broke, and then the mother, who based on wearing this hat I think is the delivery driver holding the pizza, is about to laser his head off. Then next up is this collection of sketches in one of those challenges where people request six characters to be drawn by an artist. We got sketches here of a cat named Fuji, Katie Cat from Parappa the Rapper, Chainsaw Man from the manga of the same name, the angry video game nerd, Huabara from the Yu Yu Hakuso series, and finally, a funny looking Crash Bandicoot about to get barrel stuffed in the forehead. It reminds me of that one sketch we saw in my first video, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to see a pattern here. Moving on, we got this file here with a grey block as well as a bunch of no's, ok's, and yes's. This file is titled Prompt NG Login, so based on that name, maybe this was an old version for the graphics that would show up when trying to log in to one's Newgrounds account from the game. The text that is used matches the rest of the text in the game, so maybe this was for an old placeholder or something. Next is a graphic featuring various miss poses for Tankman. We saw normally unused miss poses for Pico that can only be accessed via the game's debug mode before, but these poses haven't been made into proper graphics to be used with the game just yet. So even if you do manage to load into a song as Tankman via the game's debug mode, when you miss, no proper miss graphics are seen, and he kinda just teleports in the given direction. But since concept sketches for the miss graphics do exist, I'm confident that these will be probably developed into graphics once hopefully a proper character select option is added. And lastly for the unused graphics, at least for now, is this basic looking stage light. This appears to be the stage lights that were seen in the concept sketch I showed off in the first Lots Bits video for the tutorial stage, and I guess since the top of the stage can't ever be seen, they were never developed past this placeholder stage. In the first Lost Bits video, I also covered a few unused audio files found left in the game, and among them was a song track simply titled Test. Well, although still technically unused, in week 7 the test track was further developed and a vocal track file was also added. What results is honestly one of the best songs in the game. Here's a quick sample. What started as a track to just test inputs has now become a certified bop. When you do load this track into the game though, you end up facing an unexpected foe. People often say, sometimes you're your own worst enemy, and looks like that's the case for the boyfriend, only also floating and pixelated. And last but certainly not least is what I think is the most interesting bit of unused content in the game so far. So, left in the game's source code under art is an mp3 file simply titled c underscore z, and it has the description, funny music happy face. Well, it certainly is funny, or creepy depending on how you look at it, I'll let you be the judge yourselves. Now that's cool and all, but it doesn't end there. It turns out that this is actually also what's called an SSTV, or slow scan television signal. Basically these are used to send and receive static images through the different frequencies. So when the file is decoded, it actually results in a super crisp and clear image of a notepad. The text here, although blurry, appears to read as follows. Expression. People who would not have access to certain forms of expression or conundrum. Network of networks. Internet in this world was also developed by military. I think in other shit it's also military based. Maybe this form of internet. Maybe instead of web it could be called a tree. I think nostalgia happens at a much faster pace because culture is accelerating so fast. Quite a cryptic but also thought provoking excerpt. 
This really reminds me of other stuff we've seen in past videos, like the hidden spectrogram images in Cuphead and Minecraft. I'm honestly such a sucker for stuff like this, so yeah, like I said, definitely my favorite thing so far. I'm super happy that the Kickstarter campaign has met all of its stretch goals, and I'm definitely excited to see what more this game will have in store for us in the coming months. But till then, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a bit.